Chandler. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from Manland, and of course we have the famous Ranger cookie. Now we're in the middle of cooking this hominy casserole, and I decided, well, instead of just a cooking show, let me throw a little bit of bushcraft in there along with it. Cookie, explain to us what you got there, and be very brief, because I know how long-winded you can be. <laughs> well, this is a Chime Chitwood, uh... Oh yeah, by the way, my friend, we missed you, uh, Chime. I wish you was here with us. Uh, hope you be better and get well. You daggum right, Tom. And, we wanna see you back quick. And this is what he made for me about a year ago or more. A camouflage diaper. I like that. <laughs> yeah, basically. So I'm making, I'm finally making the damn chair for it. It takes four legs for this damn thing. <laughs> Look at the legs, man. Them things are humongous, man. Those are thoroughbred legs. I have to make two sets of this, then I have to tie the two sets together to make four sticks. Right. Now, Cookie is doing a lashing there, and that's what I want to focus in on, is the lashing technique that he's using to put these four legs together. Which sucks! Hey, he's an expert. Yeah. I'm an amateur. I'm going to measure, make sure we got the lashing together. All right, this time I'm not going to screw up. I'm going to tie one leg first, because the last time I tied a leg and just kept going around and around and around. So what I'm doing is putting like a little bow nut thing, whatever bow nut. Okay, two square knots. Got two you. square knots, yeah. tighten it to the mm -hmm. tight. Yeah. Move this out the way, yeah, put right. the chair away. Now we got this long paracord. What you want to do is go, you know what? Let's take this seat out my way. Keep lashing the rope. Now I know my lashing sucks. So you don't have to tell me your most comments. Hey, Cookie. Yes. Guess what? My lashing sucks. Absolutely. Damn right it sucks. But it looks good in the camera. I know, that's the good part. Part you can do sucky things on camera and get away with it because right, it's your job. Notice how he went backwards and then back over on that last loop he did. Very, very important. And he's overlapping one at a time, making sure that they're sitting side by side. He overlaps that one, and then watch what he does. Then I take and, he's and tightening as he goes. Go so, and I go in this leg. Pull tight, go back to the top. Hope I'm doing it right. Okay, now I, how many lashes do you do? It depends on the strength and how much para rope you want and what you want to do with it. This is going to be a chair, so you might want to put a lot of para rope. Listen to me. <laughs> And go down. And what this does, you got two ropes, like so. And it's going between the two sticks. But when right. you tighten it up, it's this little in the middle. Probably like it would be a knuckle buster wheel. Yeah. Then you can go around a couple times through the bottom and top, or whatever you want to call it, and pull tight. You want to do that like twice. And there you go. Now, you take your knife, tie your knot first. I'm supposed to leave a little bit more rope so I can tie the damn thing. There's all kinds of knots you can use, but this is going to be a permanent thing, so we're just going to just tie two... Two square knots, okay. It's two square knots. And cut. Ain't that what they call the cosmonauts in space when they had two? Two square knots? Yeah. So cool. what I'm going to do now, I got two bamboos. I'm going to use the ends to make it strong and see if I can... Uh, make this chair work. But anyway, I just want to know the lashing technique right there because that is pretty daggum neat. Works for tripods, campfire cooking, that type of deal. I have a problem tying three together. Oh, wait a minute, there, maybe that work. There you go. The Tom Chitwood chair. I'm going to be the first guinea pig. All right, Tom Chitwood, I want to say thank you for this chair and I'm ready to see if I die on it or not. But basically, you're supposed to just sit on it, like so. I'll be damned. Look at that. I am sitting in Tom Chitwood's chair. Thank you, my friend, my brother. We missed you at the view already. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all the items you have made for me in the past. I do appreciate it. And uh, other folks around, this campfire does miss you. So thank you, Tom Chitwood. I, I hope you get well, my friend. Any other words from other people from Tom Chitwood? Thank you. All right, I'll read your cookie. I'll see you next video. That sucker good. Go take it. Hey, I want Manland to test it before we leave. Wouldn't man? <laughs> Tom, you made the chair for him, not me. So I, if he dies, he, I, you're on a bush chair. That means I ain't sitting in it. Uh, he well, put it together. No, 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 no. Uh, ain't gonna happen. No. Oh. Hey, it's okay. It's Mama. made out of bamboo. Mama. Hey, Mama. You get your ass back over here. You go try. It's bamboo. It's a.
stronger than steel. All right, if it was stronger than steel, how come we don't have bamboo buildings? Because we're not in, in China. State. We're not in Japan. China. Let me back it up where I can see myself. So Manland is ready to join or sit at the time Chitwood chair. All right. We sit the same way I sit. You should be all right. So boldly go where Manland has not wanted to go. Let's see here. Yeah, right there. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let's move this saw out the way. <laughs> I, I got delicate features. Uh. Oh. A little bit wobbly, but hey. That's because one leg slightly longer than the other. Yeah. But not a bad chair. It's not a bad chair. I like it. It's my design. He made it for me. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. I've always wanted a chair like this. I don't think you could pick it up. I can't run with it. It's on. It's on? Yeah. All right. Um. Hey, hey, I'm down, down here. The flaw that I have created, that one of these flashes has to be higher than the other, because we got like a wobble chair thing now. So the flash needs to be higher or the sticks needs to be cut. But I'd rather just move these up and it'd be a better, better thing. So we'll go ahead and see if we can do that. It's gonna be a bitch mate. Oh, that's gonna be easy. All right. Uh, uh. Is it? Oh yeah, let's turn the cups. Wait a minute, they're both cups. Holy moly, which way is which? Uh, uh, okay, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm confused. There's like a bunch of things. Just don't get... There we go, and this one's wrong, I guess. All right, now we're going to see about... Sitting on it, the recap of it's too high. Oh dear. It was too low, now it's too high. What the hell? What what is this contraption? Maybe we need to do it as we That's considered a boy's chair versus a girl's chair. Oh <laughs> the horror. All right, this is getting weird. First it worked, first it didn't, then it didn't. I wonder. One leg's sticking way up, but it's working. Take a look down here below. Let them see what it looks like after I sit on it. You see one? Yeah, you got like a Smurf tail coming out the back. But it's good for a support, so it's, it's working for what it's supposed to. I guess that's how it goes, I don't know. So any YouTubers know how to make a four-legged stick thing of the dang that holds the chair like this, leave the link below. It might help me do this thing. But it's a chair for evil baby. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. Now I'm seeing y'all later. We did a recap on this thing. Show you the flaw that the, the strings might be higher or lower or one stick higher, uh, bigger than the other, or maybe this is how it works. It's my design, time made it. Thank you, Tom. I'll see you later. All right, I'm at the Voo right of Voo part three when Jarl's attack. Cut. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a guinea pig. They sit on this. This, um. Don't do it. Don't do um, it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, bush chair. The Tom Chitwood bushy chair, the four legger. Okay. Okay, the time shit would hey, make it let, to put it together. Time right, to fall I'm gonna down, show him right? how to do it so he won't die. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's what had to be cut. I'll set it down. Everybody get prepared to laugh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show him how to sit in the four-legged bushcraft time chitwood creation. That right there is actually your uh, old man assistance lift system. Is that what that is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The old man assistance. You hit it hard enough, he goes into the fire. All right, let's see. Let's go slow. Don't, 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 don't panic. Don't have a panic attack. Don't panic, Her. don't panic, don't. Lord help me. Oh no. Hey, it works. Hey, either the pants cracked nope. or the chair. Did. It was a chair. 
Pants are still good, I hope. God damn. I thought the bamboo be stronger than steel. Your ass broke steel. Well, that means he, he can whoop crack. Superman's ass. Right. Well, uh, this is Urban Prepper came to see my camp once again. Destroying Cookie's camp. Yeah, destroying yep. Cookie's camp. Damn you, boy. Well, right and over here we have... We have... He can't remember Phyllis your name. That's Phyllis Markey. You barely see you. And we have Manland. Wow, you know. <laughs> Manland and Phyllis and my nieces will be oh. over here later on. They'll be camping. So I hope you enjoyed the view three, the return of the Scarp Fire. Let me, let me do the, uh, the old video now. I got to do the uh, the little rascals thing here. You pull that thing back there and you go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Alright, shout out next video.